It's a problem we've covered extensively here on ABC 10 News, the eroding coastal bluffs, particularly along the North County. Researchers at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography now have funding through Assembly Bill 66 to try to come up with an early warning system for beachgoers. And this morning we have one of those researchers with us, geophysicist Mark Zumberg. Mark, thanks so much for joining us. You know, can you tell me how this money, this funding will help people who go to the beach? Well, um, my, my colleague here at Scripps, Adam Young, has uh, been studying the cliffs for a number of years using LIDAR, which is a, a remote sensing technique uh, that uses a laser to scan the shape of the cliffs. And by repeating those scans periodically, uh, he can map where the erosion occurs and uh, kind of get snapshots along the way of what's happening. What this new funding uh, from uh, AB 66 that was put forward by Assembly Member Borner Horvath, uh, what this new funding will allow us to do is not only increase the coverage and frequency of those LIDAR scans, but also add some in situ sensors that can monitor minute motions in the cliffs and bluffs uh, to try and learn if there are any telltale signals in those motions and deformations that could alert us to the potential increased likelihood of a failure. Some of these uh, techniques were developed here at Scripps. One in particular uses optical fibers in boreholes that can uh, detect motions uh, at, at the atomic level. So I know, and that you said, Mark, is your specific area of expertise, these optical fibers. Do you, have you identified, or your colleagues have identified specific areas that you want to start with and focus on in our area? Yes, uh, there, are, there are two sites uh, specifically mentioned in the bill. One is uh, Beacon State Beach which is a, a known slide area uh, that's uh, frequented by beachgoers in Encinitas. And a second area is uh, along Del Mar, where, uh, as we know, that the train tracks run very close to the bluffs. And, and these two areas are our preliminary focus area. Um, you know, 2.5 million, that's a lot of money, it's a start, but how much more do you think we need to fully develop all of this technology? Well, a, a lot of that will depend on what we learn in the next three years. This is a uh, research project to, to look at a couple focused areas uh, to, as I mentioned, to find these potential telltale signals. Once we have a better handle on what those might be, then we'd be in a position to, uh, to go forward and try to implement a forecasting system uh, in the locations that we think are most hazardous. And Mark, thank you so much for joining us. Important research, important technology. We'll be sure to follow it uh, here over the next few months, next few years. Yeah. Thank you for having me.